welcome to the basic design course in architecture first year architecture i am professor kuldeep bhatia from the department of architecture mit aurangabad i will be introducing you to the basic principles of design by the end of this learning video you will be able to list the basic principles of design and give examples for the principle balance the principles of design are guidelines for the designers they help us to understand what looks good and why a design or composition seems right they help you to explain your ideas and why these ideas work design principles are used in architecture to create structures which are visually attractive user friendly and environmental friendly these principles of design include balance emphasis unity or harmony rhythm pattern contrast variety proportion movement and repetition today we shall be discussing the basic principle of balance what is the meaning of the word balance it is a way to compare one side a part of a composition with the other side because we tend to see a composition from side to side rather than from up to down each element on the layout has a visual weight and that weight is determined either by its size its tone thickness of lines color etc the balance can be divided into different types the first type of balance that we see today is a symmetrical balance it is also called as a formal balance the formal balance is the simplest kind an item that is symmetrically balanced is the same on both sides or a mirror image as you can see here in the figure symmetrical balance can be described as having weight on equal sides of a centrally placed fulcrum an example of symmetrical ba balance is the taj mahal at agra asymmetrical balance asymmetrical balance also known as informal balance is a more complex and difficult to imagine but it is also more interesting it involves placement of objects in a way that will allow objects of varying visual weight to balance one another around a fulcrum point as you can see in this figure there are number of objects on one side and two bigger objects on the other side so these four smaller ones are balanced by these two bigger ones similarly in the second figure we can see that three small smiley faces are balancing a huge smiley face on the other side An example of asymmetrical balance in architecture can be seen in a wide variety of churches radial balance radial balance is to build formal balance by arranging elements equally around a central point the elements radiate from the center point and the visual weight is distributed collectively creating this feeling of equilibrium a perfect example of radial balance would be the rose window in the churches of france italy or england during the gothic period now what is this visual weight and how is it influenced the visual weight is influenced by a number of factors these factors are position size texture isolation value value contrast quantity orientation shape and color let us see them one by one 
Visual weight is influenced by position. The further out an element is from the center, the heavier it will feel. A large object placed near the center can be balanced by a smaller object placed near the edge. As you can see in this figure, a larger object near the center balanced by a smaller object near the edge. Visual weight is influenced by size. As you can see, the larger, per, larger part of it always feels heavier. Visual weight is influenced by texture. An element with a more complex texture is heavier visually than a simple texture or a no texture at all. An element with complex texture and these are the elements with simple texture. Visual weight is also influenced by isolation. As you can see, this object has more weight and our eyes are directed towards this object. Visual weight is influenced by value. Darker always feels heavier as compared to the lighter one. Visual weight is influenced by value contrast. The higher the value contrast, the heavier the weight as compared to this image. The value contrast of this compared to this. Visual weight is also influenced by quantity. Multiple small objects can balance one large object. Orientation. A diagonal orientation carries more visual weight as compared to a horizontal or a vertical one. Visual weight is influenced by shapes. Elements that have more complex shapes feel heavier than the ones which have simpler shapes. Visual weight is also influenced by color. The brighter and the more intense its color, the heavier the element feels. The reflection spot. After seeing all these examples on the balance, take up any one monument and identify the basic design principles adopted in that monument. Write these principles in your notebooks. Identify the type of balance adopted in that structure and make a note of that in your notebooks.